Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Spotlight Podcast. My name is Stephen Lewis, and in five minutes or less, I plan on encouraging and uplifting you with Bible verses, my personal writings, and more to give you a spiritual boost to your day. So get ready, because the spotlight is being turned on. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Spiritual Spotlight. Truly hope you'll be blessed with what I share with you today. And I hope you're doing amazing. And if you're not, please do me a favor and let me know. So today we're going to be shining the spotlight on another one of my encouraging messages. This one's titled, The Struggle is Real, Focus on the Real Deal. Yes, focus on the real deal. So as we go through life, we all have and are experiencing struggles. If we look at the way of the world, we see chaos, destruction, a lack of common sense, and even a lack of humanity. It feels like we are walking around in a movie that never seems to end, where the blind lead the blind and the followers do not have, don't have to use their brains because they can just go with the flow and believe what they're brainwashed to believe. From leaders that should be retired to inhumane acts towards humans, especially the unborn child. The list goes on and on, and at times you sit back and scratch your head thinking, do they really believe what they are doing is right? But today I want to share something very important. Be careful who you look at when you want to point the finger at individuals. The confusing part is, half the time the people you are looking at don't even realize they are being misled. Seriously, Stephen, you might say? Yes, seriously, because we must remember who the prince of this earth is. Satan, and even though he cannot be in more than one place, he has fallen angels, and they are doing his bidding. So do not be surprised by the word of, the, of God and how it's being attacked because the enemy is trying to destroy our identities. He is using his crafty deceitfulness to point where what is good is wrong and what used to be wrong is highly accepted. Do you follow what I'm saying? The enemy's doing that. He's basically trying to make all of a sudden what is right wrong and what's wrong is right. So stay alert, stay focused, and please remember what the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians 6, 10 through 13. And this is out of the New American Standard, the armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist on the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, boom, there it is right there. You've got to stand firm. You've got to know the prince of this earth is trying to just destroy, steal, kill, and destroy. So we've got to stay focused, folks. Don't be discouraged. Don't be misled. Stay focused. The struggle is real. Focus on the real deal, which is Jesus Christ. Let's pray. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this opportunity to share this message today. Just pray that it'll encourage everyone out there followers of Jesus Christ, as well as those who don't know you yet, that they'll also wake up and come to know you as their Savior and Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for all the believers out there. They'll be strengthened up in the name of Jesus. They'll be encouraged. All those who've been involved in natural disasters, wars, and everything else going on, Lord, we pray for the victims. We pray for the families that lost loved ones, the families that have lost their homes, their jobs, their livelihoods. We pray for all of them, Lord. They'll get the help they need and the peace and comfort that surpasses all understanding that can only come from you. So with that being said, Lord, we just thank you for all these things. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hey, there you have it, folks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Spiritual Spotlight. Truly hope you were blessed with what I shared. Don't forget to share with friends, family, and even a stranger. I love you all. I appreciate you all so much. Hey, God bless. Take care of yourselves. Peace.